Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you a plugin that can automatically mix and master your podcasts and YouTube videos. Okay, this is fantastic. It's from a great team based in Austria called Sonable. It's called Smart Limit. Let's take a look at it now in my audio editor. So here I've got a bit of audio that's a little bit too quiet. And if I go into my effects VST3 plugins and pull up Smart Limit, you'll see exactly how this clever plugin works. Now, first of all, you've got a smart listening dot here. What you do is you click it and you play back some audio and it will determine everything you need from hard limiting to dynamics. And also you can predetermine the loudness standard you're heading for as well. So I'm going to change from universal to speech because I'm working with speech content here. Also got a load of music presets as well. And then I can click the dot and start playing some of my podcast, which is probably a little bit too quiet looking at the waveform. So, okay, now I'm feeling left behind. I feel like I, I haven't had time to decorate the, the studio shed, the shed it's studio. It's doing its learning thing. And, and you've been in there doing your Christmas. And look at what's happened. So now we have a gain boost of 11.2 dB and we have a hard limit of minus 1 dB. And of course, we can change the platform from Spotify to Apple Podcast if it happens to be a podcast and start to play back again. So, okay, now I'm feeling left and behind. We can see a bit of gain reduction going on. Uh, we can see the all of the levels coming in perfectly which is fantastic there are also some settings down here for the style of uh, dynamics so is it going to be a soft or hard kind of dynamics soft is better i'd say for this speech content saturation better for music mastering bit of distortion in the top end we don't need that balance as well which is fantastic uh, improve the spectral balance of your audio and finally bass control if you want to turn up the the butch control you can click on bass control and do that uh, so now i can go ahead and I can turn this gain up and down and check on my loudness here. So, okay, now I'm feeling left behind. I feel like I, I haven't had time to decorate the... the I might need to boost that up a bit to hit minus 16 luffs. We can also do a quality check at the same time, and it's going to show us if we've got the right settings here. So wait for it to do a little bit of a check as I play back. So, okay, now I'm feeling left behind. I feel like I, I haven't had time to decorate the, the studio shed, the shed <laughs> studio, and, and you've been in there. Okay, and you can see that loudness seems fine according to the quality check, dynamics seem fine as well, and the output gain looks good as well. So all is good to go. This was very, very simple to set up. I selected speech. We did the smart listening to determine what to set. We've got a hard limiter, dynamics as well. And we've got the wonderful luffs there that we can aim for. Uh, now, an important note to mention at this point is that it's all right to go above the target luff. So if it's minus 16 luffs for an Apple podcast, you can go to minus 14 and it just means your show will get turned down a little bit. It's far worse to have quiet audio that needs turning up because, of course, the platform you upload to will do that and it may, of course, compromise the sound of your audio. That's why a plugin like this is just fantastic for getting your settings right. So if I'm happy with that, I can apply it, and you'll see that in just a few seconds, it will be applied to your audio, and you'll be ready to save that out as an MP3 or whatever's compatible with your podcast platform and upload it. So you see it's just processing through now, and we'll see the finished waveform in a second. And then in a moment, we're going to get onto another piece of audio. So as you can see now, that is perfectly uh, improved. We've got some hard limiting going on there. Wonderful. But what happens if we've got too much dynamics? What happens if we've got a waveform? And this is often the case when making podcasts that looks like this. Loud, quiet, loud, quiet, loud, quiet. Then Smart Limit needs to work harder, and it will do. Let me show you exactly how this works. Go into Effects, bring up that wonderful plugin again from Sonable, Smart Limit, and we'll set it back to default. And again, we're going for speech here, and this is going to be a podcast that will go to Apple again. So let's select that over here in the loudness meter. So switch off quality check for the moment and just enable this smart learner to listen to a bit of the audio and change some settings. I when I was eight, so my story is a lot more boring than that. But <laughs> I was born in North Brunswick mm -hmm. and um, moved when I was eight, and I've been in Charlotte ever since. Oh. Okay, so you can see that a few things have happened with Smart Limit. This was, well, a little bit quiet and a lot of dynamics going on. So now we have a gain boost.
boost and we have of course that minus one db hard limit so watch what's happening i moved when i was eight so my story is a lot more boring than that but <laughs> i was born in north brunswick mm -hmm. and um, so you can see whenever there's a big peak there's some gain reduction going on you can see that with this red line up here at the top and we can see our loudness now if we switch on quality check and play back you'll see the loudness seems a bit too low so we might need to turn this gain up a bit more to hit that target we need to work harder with smart limit to make it work let's try that i moved when i was eight so my story is a lot more boring than that but <laughs> i was born in north brunswick mm -hmm. and um moved when i was eight and i've been in charlotte ever since yeah. And there we go. As you can see, super easy. All I had to do was just boost the gain on the dynamics effect and I got a tick on my quality check. As you can see, loudness now seems fine, dynamics seem fine, and the output gain all looks good. Again, I can apply this and it's gonna process my audio ready for upload, the final mix and master, and there you go, have a look at that. That looks much better, uh, kind of much more processing on that. We've also got to a good target luffs, a good target loudness for the platform we're uploading to, and it's all done in a few clicks. As you can see, it's got smart learning, it's got a loudness meter, it's got hard limiting, it's got dynamics all in one, plus the ability to shape your audio a bit with saturation and bass boost. Now, it's great for speech and music mastering as well if you want to do a bit of that. I really like Smart Limit from Sonobol. It's kind of all in one, ready to go, your last check before you upload. And thank you, Sonobol, for sponsoring this video. Let me know how you get on with meeting the loudness uh, platform standards for YouTube and podcasting in the comments down below. Thumbs up! Subscribe for more! Musicradiocreative.com